Hi, my name is Alice. I'm 27 years old, and I've never dyed my hair before. Tomorrow, I'm going blonde. Full-on, platinum, bleach blonde. <laughs> I'm really excited. So the thing about my personal style growing up, I was super into having this like dark hair. It was almost like a security blanket. It became a big part of my identity. In Chinese culture, a good child is a guai hai zi, which basically means an obedient child. <laughs> so bleaching your hair is sort of an act of rebellion. I recently cut my hair into a bob and it felt so freeing. This is kind of saying like, listen, like I have control over my appearance. I've chosen to look this way. It's another sense of relinquishing this idea that this is who I am because it's not. I'm so much more than just hair. I think my family is going to be a little freaked out when they see my hair for the first time. They already were like, oh, you cut your hair? But going blonde is something that I haven't even talked to them about. I haven't even prepped them at all. Well, I'm going to do this tomorrow, and I can't turn back anymore. I'm going to be blonde. See ya. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. I am so happy that I found Sabrina. She's half Japanese and she's half black. She knows hair. She understands different textures of hair and she just gets it. In my mind, this is like a nine hour process. What is it actually gonna be like? Like, what are the steps? Since your hair's shorter, it'll probably take like four or five hours. It won't take nine hours. Okay, so I want something like this, mm -hmm. kind of like a whitish blonde. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit rooty. Which I love, I love that. You rooty. like that rooty yeah. look? This one has a little bit more yellow, but they're pretty much the same, especially on the ends. So I guess probably this would be the closest one, right? I think that's gonna look the best on you. Okay, cool. Okay. So I'm gonna go get the first step ready. Are you sure you wanna do this? <laughs> yeah, no, I am. It's too late now. I cannot go back. Just getting right to business, Sabrina. Okay. You're just like, okay. So this is step one. We are putting the bleach into the hair about a quarter inch, I think, from an the roots. An inch and a quarter. An inch mm -hmm. and a quarter. I'm not freaking out too bad because honestly, I'm just scared about the root. <laughs> There's literally no turning back now. This is it. This is it. <laughs> I definitely did not anticipate the smell. <laughs> okay, so the bleach is on the back. It feels like this like big, immovable piece that's just like <laughs> hanging off my head. I don't recognize her anymore. Um, and she's moving to the front now. In my college, there was a tradition where all the freshers do this big shaving cream fight. And that's what I feel like right now. <laughs> that I, this is my hair after the shaving cream fight. My parents are both doctors. Mm -hmm. My brother is a doctor. I'm the only like young, creative industry person in my family right. for the most part. Okay, so now she's doing the root, which is the part that I was most scared of. She's just barely through this one. If you have any sensitivity on your scalp, let me know. After I apply it, I'm gonna see how your scalp is feeling. Mm. If you could go into the dryer, then that would be great. Okay. It's looking good. It's like so blonde. Is it tingling at all? It's like a little itchy and hot, but it just feels like a sunburn. Okay, so the roots are almost all done. It honestly didn't hurt as much as I thought it would, though I have to sit with it for 40 minutes, so we shall see. So now I've entered the hair dryer. I am getting hair blown on me from all sides, and I got my Marie Antoinette updo. No, things are going well. Oh, I feel a little heat from this side now. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Okay, so then you're gonna do another bleach process. Mm -hmm. after right, this. I'm just gonna go in with foils and then paint over it, and that will lift it even more. Oh my gosh, I look like a little baby bird. <laughs> Holy shit. I mean, I already feel like a different person, so that's good. Like my skin tone looks different. My hair feels kind of soft when I touch it still, which is nice, because I, I genuinely thought that it was gonna be like, <sighs> I'm interested in seeing what happens next here. So what do you think your parents are gonna say? I think they're just gonna be really surprised and very confused and maybe a little bit mad. There is a lot of anxiety regarding speaking to my family about this because there are a lot of things regarding 2019 American lifestyle that they don't really connect with very much. And so this is like one more form of almost separation between us. It's like we had our hair, but now we don't have our hair. We don't have our appearance in common anymore. 
So it's not necessarily that they're gonna be like super judgmental or angry. I think it's just like so beyond what they would consider anything that was normal that right. they just didn't even think about it as a possibility. So all the foils are done and I'm blonde as hell. This is my last heat treatment. I'm gonna take these foils off and we're gonna see what's underneath, which I am hoping is a cool platinum-y blonde. So I'm checking it, it looks really good. From here, we're just gonna stop and then we're gonna add the toner. Okay. And this will be your last step for color. Oh, very exciting. So the, and the toner will make it icier, right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I kind of feel like I'm wearing a wig right now. I'm just like, I just, I could never have imagined my hair to look like this. For the roots, we're gonna go ash, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna pull it through with a lighter color. I'm getting more used to my face. <laughs> like staring, and I'm like, okay, this is you. I feel like you're a magician. I just, I don't know, I just, things are happening, and I just don't know how to explain them. <laughs> so we're gonna go over to the shampoo bowl. We're washing my hair out for the last time. I'm about to see my new icy blonde hair. I'm so excited. <laughs> I was definitely a little nervous before because it was yellower than I thought and I didn't really, I don't understand how toner works, but it really did the job. <laughs> you can see the color is like icy, ashy, blonde with like that nice root and this is my last condition. Let me comb it out for you. Okay. I love it though. It's like the perfect color. This is like exactly what I want. It looks really good. <laughs> I feel good. So fresh. <laughs> I'm all done. This is it. It's exactly what I wanted. I have that fresh cut, but also it's the perfect color. It was kind of a process, but it wasn't as long as I thought it would be. It wasn't as painful as I thought it would be. And I'm really, really happy with what it looks like. Thank you. See you. Oops. So I am blonde. <laughs> After all of this time of being really worried about it and anxious about what it was gonna look like, now I'm just totally used to it. <laughs> when I finally looked in the mirror and I saw the final blonde cut and, and what it looked like and everything, really what I felt in my head was, Alice looks like Alice. <laughs> I think my grandma and my mom are gonna look at me and just be like, who is this person getting into the car at the airport? <laughs> I was really nervous about it, but it's just hair, right? Oh my goodness, what a surprise! <laughs> I was like, Alice, Alice, do I see your black hair? Oh, it looks great! Thanks. I love it. When you grow up as a girl, you are fed a lot of beauty standards in the world. For me growing up, shiny, dark, thick hair was the beauty standard that I could meet the most easily. Having this like long, dark black hair was such a great security blanket because long hair is immediately, it's a feminizing thing. Having it be smooth and soft and straight and not have to do a lot with it, that immediately made my hair something of envy as well. It was one of the few things that as somebody growing up Asian American in a very white community could feel very confident about because it was something that people wanted. I think now it's more and more normal to want to be different and to want to look different and show your individuality. And so I feel like the Alice of today, if you know, I got to do it all over, she would just be a lot bolder. She probably would have played with her hair a little bit more <laughs> and just been a little braver. The truth is at the end of the day, your appearance changes. It does not last and it does not define you. And so this really helped me because I realized that even if I do change my hair, I still know who I am and I'm still myself even if I look different. <laughs> <laughs>